G'day guys, Brett McCallum here at the IAAS, the Independent Australian Authors Symposium, and we're about to go and speak to some of the people and have a cheers. I'm walking over to the illustrious JD Murphy, who's the author of The Arbor Girls, happens to have one here ready. G'day John, how are you? I'm absolutely fabulous, I'm did, pumped. You're pumped? Did you enjoy today's symposium? I did, yeah, I didn't quite know what to expect, but it's all panned out good and better than good called best for me. Better than good best. Sensational mate, and what did you enjoy most about today? Um, having people come and talk to me about why did I make the book? and not having them to throw a brick at me because I didn't like it. So you've had some really good feedback on the book? Very good feedback. And people giving me ideas for other things to write about as well. So that was very cool. Mate, I love the fact that you've uh, read all the books so you started to write them yourselves. That's a really good line. Um, and what do you think? Do you think you'll come back next year? Oh, yeah. I'm actually toying with the idea of going to the Sydney one because I can. That's excellent, mate. And what can we do to make it better next year? Probably... Um, have more people but we can't really manipulate that and uh, you come along and tell more jokes <laughs> i'm a funny man thank you very much mate thanks for coming along and we really enjoyed today Pleasure. i've never done interviews with champagne in my hand it's great <laughs> well with vicky bennett who was one of our great speakers today at the symposium what do you think of the symposium it's fantastic what an incredible group of people and vibrant group of people. It was really diverse as well, wasn't it? There was people from everywhere. Yeah, everybody's here and everybody's willing to learn and open to learn. And I think that's the thing that people bring to such an event, their own experience and their own creativity. And what did you enjoy most about today? I, li I love listening to the other writers speak and tell us their story, how they got to where they are. I love networking just to see um, where people are on their journey yep. and we just kind of impart little things to each other. And you've got some exciting times happening with movies and things happening on SBS this week? I do, this one here, Never Forget Australia, which is um, a film that I co-produced and wrote. Yes. And um, yeah, it was shown on SBS, I sold it to SBS and it was on Tuesday. That's um, very exciting. It is very, and I'm writing another one at the moment. That's amazing. So you're at the other end of the journey to a lot of these people here today who are all new authors. Well, yes and no, because, you know, I've been talking to a lot of them, and every time you write a new book, um, you have to renegotiate. <laughs> it's like becoming a new author all over again. It is, and you think. Well, you know, they should love you. Well, they should, but they don't always. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to find the right fit. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming today, and hopefully we'll see you here next year. I'd love to come next year. Hello, Edwina. How are you? You were amazing today. You know, you changed the whole room. You changed the way everyone felt, and you got, oh, it was awesome. I did. I was sitting there. I was having a little snooze, and then I woke up and thought, geez, she's running late. I've got to sort this out. <laughs> what did you think of today? when I went over. Oh, I thought it was great. And thank you. Thank you for doing a great job with the MC and thank you, Bradley. Oh, it's and been a really good event. I've really enjoyed it. It was completely different to what I thought it would be. And, and, and quite political too with different things like the, the women's birth movement and then also the stuff about mental health. So they're both things that I'm very passionate about myself. So It's um, not something I was expecting to see. No. It, I mean, I, I knew Jodie before we came. So, yeah. uh, because I'm a home birther as well, so... As we are! Yeah, as hey. we are. So, you know, I think, uh, you know, uh, it's because writers are interesting people. We're yeah. inherently interesting people and actually really nice people. None of us are particularly sane, so... No, we're all weird. Yeah, we're 100%. all weird, yeah, but yeah. we're our own kind of normal when we get together. That's a really good way to put it. And what do you yeah. think of the symposium itself? I thought it was great and it's a wonderful idea and there should be more of it and I wish that there had been more people here supporting it. Um, Are we going to see you next year? Yeah, sure. Your name? Uh, I'm Jono. Jono? Vicky? I'm one of the Vickies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Jono and Vicky at the symposium. What did you guys think of it today? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. What was your uh, favourite part? Um, the speakers were really excellent. It's nice meeting fellow authors as well. I'd have to say listening to my friend Jane Island over there. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, she was really fearful, but she... So you came as moral support for Jane? I came as moral support, but enjoyed all the speakers. So. Yeah, it was amazing the diversity of all the speakers too, wasn't it? I think it was one of those things that you don't normally see, because there's usually like a theme to these things. Yeah. And I think the diversity was really good. Mm. So would you come again next time? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So you're an author? Yes. What's your book called? Um, Spirits in Your Area. Um, it's an anthology of fantasy stuff in uh, Australia. Awesome, and are you going to be writing more? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And what about yourself? Are you an author yet? Yes, I am. What's your book called? I've got a couple, but yeah. my latest one, which um, is released on Tuesday. That's very exciting. It's called Flames Tool Moth. Okay. And it's a coming of age thriller that I've co authored with another writer. That's amazing. Congratulations, guys, and thanks so much for spending your time with us and Thank come you. to the symposium. You've done a wonderful job oh, thanks so much. I'm with Gillian Wells, the author of Alone. Hello, Gillian, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How have you enjoyed this symposium? It's been brilliant. Really, really good. And have you been signing many books? A few, yes. That's good. What do, what do you uh, think we could do to make it better next year? Hmm, that's a difficult question. Because um, it was so amazing this year. Yeah, that's right. You can't do better than that. Oh, you can't be perfection. Is that the way it works? Right. <laughs> what do you enjoy about today? Oh, it's great meeting everybody um, and listening to other speakers and seeing all the new books that are around. It's very exciting, isn't it? Seeing all these new authors. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing with us and thanks for your talk today. It was awesome. Oh, thank you very much. We'll see you next year. Hopefully, yes. We're with Jane Ireland from Emigy. Emigy, Emigry, Emigry. I stuff it up every time. How are you? Really, really good. Thank Did you enjoy the symposium? I loved it. It was great. And I loved the way everybody spoke about something different. It was good, wasn't it? The diversity was I amazing. Know, I know. And I feel I learned something from everyone. That's pretty cool. Which is really good. I loved your speech as well. Oh, thank you very much. You did really much. good. How's the book going? Wonderful. Have yeah, you had many really people wanting to get signatures yeah, and stuff today? Yeah, quite a few actually. How does it make you feel when you sign your book? Good, board? like I've, I've achieved something, it does, you know, it? especially my first book because I know I've got a few more in the pipeline, yeah, yeah. but to know that it, you know, I can do it and, and it's okay. It's like you're signing off on it. That's what I find. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, know, it's actually and I'll done. Tell you what, yeah. Once you get it out there, there's nothing you can do about it. Exactly. You know, it's there and. and there was a typo on page three. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? I, I, I oh, there would. wasn't, was it? I do. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it was on page three. No, I just no. made that up. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, like the symposium's a great idea. You get a whole pile of authors together and then we can all talk. I think it's wonderful. And that, the idea of it happening, what, maybe every year or whatever. I know it's Definitely annually. in Adelaide. Are you going to go? I will probably like to go. I think I'm going to go. Yeah, good excuse. The it borders is. will be open. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> they have to be open. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank Thanks for being one of our speakers thank and you've done a great job. great job. Too. No worries at all. We'll hopefully see you next year. I hope so. With an X-Book. That's for sure. Hi, Lorraine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Did you enjoy the symposium? Yes, I was there. I'm glad it's, um, I've done my bit now. So <laughs> You have and you, you did an amazing talk earlier. It was really wonderful. Obviously, we deal with the same topics, so it's uh, it's good to meet a f fellow mental health advocate. So, Indeed, and yeah. fellow weirdo, of course. Oh yeah, of course, yes, yeah. that's absolutely. So, did you think the symposium was a great idea? I think it's an awesome idea because it's you know a group of authors who have now become friends through this process, and uh, we you know can support each other and uh, and get some publicity at the same time. So. So, do we think we'll see you here next year? Well, it's not going to be here next year. It'll be in Adelaide or whenever it, wherever it is. Even better. Let's go to Adelaide. <laughs> we can drink champagne in Adelaide. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm all for that. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, Jody, how are you? I'm fantastic. Now it's all over. <laughs> you were a bit nervous, were you? I was excited. Very excited. Very excited. That's good. And how, how have you sort of found the whole symposium? Uh, really good. Really was good. Was it what you expected or something a bit different? I didn't really know what to expect, so it didn't disappoint. Yeah. And I feel really uh, honoured that I got to have a chance, my practice run at my presentation, because a couple of people came up to me and said, can you come and do it where I work? And I went, sure. How good's that? So you got some business out of it as well. Yeah. And to actually be an author now and hold it in your hand, what's that feel like? Yeah, that was magic. I arrived today expecting to do like Facebook Live, 
yeah. open in the book because that's a thing now, but uh, it was already open and on the table and I was like, oh, look, there's my book. <laughs> to touch my book. And do you think the symposium's a great idea for all, all authors? Yeah, and I can't wait until there's more of us and it's more diverse. I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for a lot of people. I think one of the things that got me was the diversity of all the speakers today. I think everyone was a different story and it was, uh, which is obviously the good thing about being an author. Yeah, I was really moved. I was really moved. I was wiping tears away for Lorraine and I was laughing with Jane and I was really feeling Jill and I just think everybody did such a marvellous job considering that we're not public speakers. Yeah. And uh, and obviously everyone's passionate about, about their story, so. Well, I loved your story and as I mentioned to you earlier, we went through very similar things and uh, I'm gonna be coming back shortly for you to sign my book. Oh, that's really cool. Thank you, I'm honoured. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today and we'll hopefully see you next year. Thank you.